Hello. Questions. Back there here. we go. Jeez, it's kind of loud, but this is me. All right. Come on up. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Kristen oh. from Houston. <laughs> what do you have to ask? Uh, my question's for Norman and Jeffrey. Uh, if their characters had a theme song, what would it be? Ooh, good question. That's tough. Uh, Desperado by the Eagles. I'm gonna say uh, The Passenger by Iggy Pop. Robert, if you had to redo the theme song for The Walking Dead, what other TV show would you uh, shape it after? Uh, married with Children. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great answer. Good job. All right. You got another one over there? Yeah, I got a couple. What's your name? Where are you from? Melissa, Cincinnati, Ohio. All right. What's your question? Okay. If you were chosen to play a different character, who would you think it would have been would you have accepted that role, and why? <laughs> I'd have been Carol. <laughs> <laughs> because she likes Daryl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she makes good cookies. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick Negan, because he's sexy and wears leather. Norman, how many of those uh, seasickness bands do you have on there? You know, just in case. You know, <laughs> just in case of what? Yeah, We're going down? I don't care. You look like Johnny Depp with all those bracelets. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep rolling. You got another one? Yes, I do. Come on up. What's your name? Where are you from? Love you, too. Hi. It's, it's okay. It won't hurt. Okay, I, I'm Tina, and I'm... Check, check. One second. Uh -oh. Can you hear that? Yeah, we can hear it. You yeah. can hear us. This is Tina from Alabama. Tina, what's your question? Hi. Okay, one second. We Uno can... momento. Uno momento. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. There go. Down a little. There we go. All right. This is Tina from Alabama. Yeehaw. Roll Tide. We won. Well, actually, it's War Eagle. Boo. Guys. Hi. Okay, my question's for Kirkman. How do you think Carl's pending death will affect the show going forward and how it changes the introductions of other groups, such as the Whispers, into the apocalyptic world? And do you like the direction that the show is making with these changes better than the comic? Ooh. Better than the comic is a bit much. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, he may not... Is it, am I not, am I, is it? Yeah, I, You're on, we can hear you. Whoa, oh, okay. geez. Um, he's not dead yet. He, he may not die, you never know. I, don't, um, I said Carl's pending death. Pending death, pending yeah, yeah, yeah. Death. Um, but I, I think that uh, um, were that to happen, uh, I think that it would have some interesting ramifications on Rick that I think would energize and uh, uh, really kind of set things in motion in a, in a really interesting way, uh, leading to the resolution of All Out War uh, in a way that will make for a very exciting back half to season eight. So I think that uh, uh, it's gonna be really cool uh, as far as whether or not uh, uh, I think, you know, it's gonna change things from the comic in a way that uh, is detrimental to the show. Uh, I definitely don't. I think that uh, there's a lot of great stuff from the comic that'll be adapted into the show in season nine and beyond. Uh, I think any uh, comic book fans might be uh, excited about uh, the possibility of the Whisperers showing up in the in the show. Um, I'm not confirming that, but I definitely would not rule it out. Uh, you can probably expect it soon. But uh, anyway, um, so it's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Thank you. Who's next? Come on up. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Nancy from Juneau, Alaska. Ooh, Alaska. <laughs> um, my question, I, it's two part. One's for Norman and Jeffrey, and the other question's for Kirkman. Um, Norman and Jeffrey, if you could change one thing about your character, what would it be and why? Huh. 
Not a thing. Uh, uh, Good answer. Yeah. That was the Good same answer. answer. Great answer. Same, same answer. Not a thing. All right. So then if you could change one thing about each other's character, what would it be? Good question. Less screen time? <laughs> God, what would I change about Negan? Um, his wives? Is that what he said? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I don't know. I, I mean... Two Lucille's. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that. Flaming Lucille. That sounds like a, a cocktail. A car on his motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Part two. Who, who tags along then? Yeah, probably Rick. Can I have a microphone? Okay, Rick in a sidecar. Probably. It works. It works. Okay, and then for Kirkman, if you could change one storyline... What would it be and why? Uh, I'd kill Carl twice. Um. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh, come on! Calm down! I'll leave. It's his book, guys. It's his stories. Jeez. So, let me ask you this. I'm making no to everybody that booed. <laughs> Let me ask you this. And I'm cutting the drinks off. <laughs> Lady, I'm talking. Hold on. <laughs> Boo me. <laughs> I'm canceling season nine. <laughs> Take my ball and go home. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, one more thing. I would have cut Rick's hand off. Go ahead. If you, if, if you could kill Kenny, how would you kill him? <laughs> Kenny from South Park? I, I'd, uh, I'd have him eat Carl and then die from food poisoning or something. <laughs> you bastard. Great question. Is it too soon for these jokes? I'm very sorry. No, keep going. This is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the next death in Walking Dead is going to be way more upsetting. <laughs> Jeez, Don't piss man. him off. Come on. We got another day, man. Come on. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? You won't know Hi. for a while. Go ahead. I'm Sharon, and I'm from Winslow, Arizona. All right. Okay, my question is for Robert. If there were one character that has been killed off that could be brought back, who would it be and why? T-Dog. No, not Glenn. T-Dog. T-Dog. It's S-Dog. T-Dog would be good. Um, now, I love Steven Young as, not, as much as the next guy, but I mean, enough. Come on. Um, uh, no, I mean, I, I, always, I always loved uh, Tyrese. I thought I, 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 I missed the character a lot in the comics, and uh, it was great getting to write him again for the show, and, uh, you know, I thought he was a cool guy. I like how, I like how, uh, how, how, how gentle he was, and, uh, you know, how ill-equipped for the world he was and what a, what a struggle uh, it was for him to uh, bash people's brains in with that hammer. But, uh, yeah, either him. I don't know. Or Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good question. Thank you. All right, you got more over there? No oh, yeah, right. Norman. <laughs> yeah. You need to ride Route 66. I would love to. Yeah. Wait, you're from Arizona, right? I, we just That's left right. Arizona. We did a cool one. Yeah. That's, uh, that's it for questions. Is it really? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just like toss the mic out into the audience. Uh. <laughs> I know. This is How where about get, this? This is where it gets really sloppy, though. If you have a question or if you'd like to take more questions, you Go can back make there. your way back over yeah. here where we're at. We got a little line going. All right. Yeah. If you guys are cool You, you get there. Who's got a question right here? Yell it up. Ask yeah, it. Yeah, just yell it. If you're close to the stage, Go. What, What's it. your question? Yeah. Just repeat the question repeat once they right. She wants to know if you'll go back and do Supernatural again. Yes! One episode. No! No! Yes! Sort of the wrong show. Sorry, say that again. We're not talking about Supernatural. I don't know. That's a lot of people want to know, though, still. I mean, when Kirkman kills Negan, I'll go back to Supernatural. Well, then I'll never do it. There we go. Yeah. I'm never going back. 
No, if that show ever ends and they're on like season 400, um, <laughs> I said I would love to go back and, and, and have some resolution with that character. Hey, uh, I- I'll tell you this much. Uh, I'd kill Negan tomorrow if I could get more Magic City. <laughs> yeah, I, by the way, I really enjoyed doing that character. But thank you. I don't think there's any chance of it coming back, though. <laughs> Why don't I right. kill Megan and see? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go over here. All right, I got one. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Gary from Phoenix. How you guys doing? Good, man. So Robert and, and uh, Daryl, I'm going to call you Daryl because that's who you are to me. <laughs> Nobody knows my name. Everybody calls no. me Daryl. Norman, I love I loved you in Boondock Saints, man. You oh, killed yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But my question is, when, when Daryl came back to the prison and he, and he had killed a deer, he licked his fingers and then he shook Patrick's hand. And then Patrick got sick that night. Did Daryl bring it back to the prison? Is that how that whole thing started? Oh, Robert, wow. you're the only one that knows. Ooh, so there's another one. There's another one on you. I do enjoy when Norman's character gets blamed for deaths. Yes. <laughs> All right. the time. Glenn. Yeah. It's never my fault. Thank you. It's never my fault. I, I would say that one was definitely a coincidence. Yeah. If anything, he lived longer because he had Daryl's saliva on There him. you go. <laughs> this, this lady back here wants to know what Negan's full name is. She asked me to ask that. So. Rock on, Negan guys. asshole? Uh, <laughs> Why, that, yes, you nailed it. That works. <laughs> it's one of those. I, I, I haven't given Negan a last name. No, he doesn't have a last name. It's like Madonna, Cher, and Negan. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. All right, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Gigi from Inverness, Florida. I have no questions. I just want to thank you. It's been a ride. And we wouldn't be here without you. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. All right, you got your hand up. What's your question right here? Yeah, you got it? No? No? Who, who wants a question? All right, all right, go for it. Will we ever get to meet the actual Lucille on the show? I, 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 I hope so. I'm not in charge of those things, Robert. You'll just have to stay tuned. <laughs> Over here. I got more back here. What's your name? Where's, where are you from? Nancy from Iowa. I'm only one Iowa person. What's your question? I just want to thank you all for coming on the cruise with us. And what is Negan's full name? Well, it's just twice in a row. Asshole. Negan it's, asshole. Yeah, it's, Negan, it's actually yeah. Negan asshole. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, uh, Robert? Um, I do things to entertain myself that then when the comic gets turned into a TV show, it's like super weird. But uh, I just think it's funny to not give characters last names because, uh, I don't know, it's interesting to me. It, it really, it doesn't play well on panels, though, I'll tell you that much. But uh, not working today, is it? No, definitely not. But when I'm at home and I'm writing, I'm like, I, 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 I don't need to. I'm not doing this because you gotta come up with a list of names and then pick one, and it's yeah, never I interesting. Mean, do we think Negan is a first name or a last? Is name? Is it his uh, last name? Yeah, ne- Negan is definitely a first name. So his, la- uh, his last name Smith. There we go. Is that a good one? Way over under on Smith. Does no one like Smith? <laughs> Let's name Negan right now. Who wants to suggest a last name for Negan? Go ahead. I'm, I'm hearing. Uh, I can't make anything out. It's Smith. 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 It is. Smith. Thank you for your help. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. He's a, That's good. Thank you. He's another Dixon. Way to go, Negan no. Smith. Negan, Negan Dixon. Dixon. <laughs> Negan Dixon. Negan What's your Smith, name? Where are you from? Right I'm Alyssa. I'm from Michigan. Yeah. Hi, Norman. What's up? Hi. <laughs> um, my question's for you. So, in season five, episode 16, you had to watch Beth get killed, and you shot Dawn after she killed her. How was that scene for you, getting to carry Beth out, and just the emotion on your face? Wow. That was rough, because I'm a big fan of hers, and she's a friend of mine. But, uh, you know, it, the crew on this show is, is uh, super supportive, and they don't kind of get in your way. So, I... I sat on an, on an igloo full of sodas and just cried for like an hour and then they were like, you're up, you know? So it was like, 
you know, I wanted it to be like I didn't break down on camera there. I was already, I had already broken down, so I just cried and then, I think I accidentally grabbed her boob while I was carrying her. <laughs> accidentally. She said that in The Talking Dead after that episode, she said that it was, you two were really struggling because she was trying to like be dead weight and it was really hard for you to carry her. She's heavier than she looks. Yeah. <laughs> You're just not as strong as you look. Yeah. Pure muscle Whoa. on her end. Yeah. That's true. And it's Thank hot. you so much. Yeah, thank you. I heard Negan could have carried her like easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. The heavens yeah, are Negan crying for Ben. Hand. And balance plates on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Stacy Brandt from Missouri. All right, Stacy. what's your question? Do any of you miss your anonymity, being able to walk down the street and not have people bother you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. I mean, look, you, we got the best fans in the world, but sometimes you just want to, you know, have a moment yeah. and not do a selfie. As much as I love y'all, sometimes I'm not feeling my best. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's a fair trade for the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's hard, for real. You know, you try to be nice all the time, but like Jeff said, you're not Facebook ready all the hey, time, you know? Wait, wait, wait. Don't run because it's raining. We're not going anywhere. Where we're are y'all going back we're there? We're not going anywhere. Yeah, Come on. Water. We're out here. We go nowhere till lightning strikes. <laughs> That's right. That's correct. <laughs> The cast of The Walking Dead died due to a lightning strike on a boat. <laughs> I'm going to stay until I get cold. <laughs> this is how The Walking Dead ends. There's your answer. It ends with rain on a cruise ship. What's, What's your name? Where are you from? Joe from Louisiana. Hey, Joe. What's, up, <laughs> What's your question, Joe? My question's for Mr. Kirkman. Um, since I've been watching the show, I've been trying to find out or figure out the timeline. Can you tell me what the timeline is from season one to right now? Definitely not. Um, <laughs> season one to now, um, let's see here. Carl aged how many years? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we know internally how much, we, how much time we think passed between here and now, but because of different factors, uh, that I'm not going to go into. Uh, it's not something that we, that we talk about publicly, but we are making sure that we know how much time has passed and you're keeping track of it. It, it is a number of years, uh, less than five. Ooh, all right. A second part to this, why are there not very many animals? You would think that they would be feasting on all the corpses and rotting and so on and so forth. Well, uh, uh, animals don't really behave on set, so, you know, that's one thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we do, you know, we've had animals here and there, but, uh, uh, yeah, I guess maybe there's not as much as we probably should. We'll get some CGI dogs next yeah, season. Yeah, I mean, and, and we all saw that CGI deer this season, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Not cool, man. Not cool. Anybody we, we up worked, close? You worked so hard on that deer. You have no idea. <laughs> Anybody up front want to ask some questions? Go for it. Pick one. Pick two. Go for it. All right. Keep, oh, all right. What do you got? Go for it. Right here. She wants to know if Norman or if Daryl could accept Dwight as a member of the group. Or Norman. Or Norman. <laughs> um, yeah. I think, uh, I mean, everybody in that world does stuff that they wouldn't normally do in real life, so I think he understands them. I don't think that he'll forgive them, but I think he gets it, you know? Yeah. All right. Got another one? I do. What's your name? Where are you from? What was the answer My name's that? Dan, and I'm from Bullhead City, Arizona. <laughs> and my question is for Mr. Reedus, Mr. Kirkman, what the cause of the Walker virus is. Because, Mr. Reedus, when you're rifling through your character brother's belongings, you find a bag of drugs, which look to be like blue meth from Breaking Bad. So is Walter White the cause of the virus? Yes. It's Here Walter's we go. fault. Crossover. Robert, you want that one? <laughs> I'll confirm that theory, sure. 
Thank you. I got All right, who's got one right here? Go for it. It wasn't blue meth, though. It was just hard candy. Yes. Big difference. Rock candy. Uh-huh. Okay, so she's asking when, when Robert created all this, did she ever envision the world beyond the comic that has been created? Wouldn't it be weird if the answer to that was yes? Yes. It's definitely not. No, I mean, I just wanted to write a cool comic that I could have fun doing that would be an entertaining story for people. And so, you know, when it became a television show, I was, you know, very honored and very excited about it. And then when it became so popular, I, I was floored. And then to be out on a cruise with all of you guys, like, this is super insane. Uh, totally awesome. I'm having a great time. Uh, but really, I mean, it's all because of you guys, really. I mean, I, I, you know, we, we all work really hard on this, but we would never have made it here if it wasn't for all of you. So thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. And everybody be careful. There is a T-Rex sighting in yeah. the back. Yeah. Oh, great. Gotta be careful. Here we go. Here we go. Dinosaurs versus zombies. <laughs> that's, that's season nine. Uh, no spoiler alert. No spoiler alert. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Tori. I'm from New York. Um, well, for Norman and Jeffrey, what was your favorite, like, all-time scene to record? And then for Rob, what was your favorite plot to write? Wow, I really like the one uh, with Rick and Daryl uh, the morning after he bit that dude's neck out and we were sitting there talking like, like brothers. I like that scene a lot. My, uh, my favorite scene was... When I tell, yeah, when I kill Rick. I love that scene. Oh. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Um, no, when I told Rick that I just stuck my dick down his throat, and he thanked me for it. There are children here. What's wrong with you? Sorry, kids. They're here. They watch the show, apparently. I heard there's a deleted scene, Jeffrey. Is there a deleted scene with that? There's a lot of deleted scenes when Negan's <laughs> around. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. My favorite, my favorite scene was the uh, introduction of Negan uh, and those horrible deaths that everybody's upset about. Uh, but I, I don't know. I just, you know, at that point in the show, uh, you know, season seven, bringing a new guy in, in that way, uh, your portrayal of the character, uh, uh, learning all that dialogue <laughs> and handling it so well. Also learning two versions of the dialogue, which was a giant pain in the ass. Uh, but uh, yeah, just seeing that all come together was really awesome. All right, right here, little guy. What's your question? All right, he wants to know if Daryl were to go by himself to kill Negan, would he actually kill him? Ha! I mean, I definitely think he could kill him. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, he's got a baseball bat. You know, what is he, like Wonder Woman? He's going to block all my stuff? That's not going to happen. Um, I don't know, you know... Uh, you never say never, but I think he could do it. You know, I don't. You know, I would hate to see my buddy yeah, get doing, shot. Man? I love you. I, you know this. I love you too. It's cool. Yeah, I'd kill him. <laughs> All right, we got more over here. Yes, sir. Right, what's, so, your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Valerie. I'm from New York. Hey, Valerie. Hi. How are you? My question is for Jeffrey. Um, I've had the chance to work with the lovely David Morrissey in the past. Yeah. And, and I know you two have worked together before. And I was wondering if he gave you any advice or any tips on playing a villain on The Walking Dead. No. I remember when we were working together, though, he had come to a convention. And I remember asking, because I, I, I was obviously doing a totally different show at that point. And I remember asking him, tell me about this world, this walking dead world, because, I, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it, he came back from that convention and his eyes were as big as beach ball-sized lady nuts. <laughs> and he just said, there's nothing like it. There's n he goes, it's, just a, it's a life-changing move to do a show like The Walking Dead. And then two years later, here's Negan. And it's been a life-changing experience, certainly. Robert, Robert but you, no villain advice, no. For you to like create a character and see it come to life, and I know it, it takes sometimes years. What is that like? And even as you're writing the comic book now, is there even a, is there a character that you're just excited to see, you know, in a couple years from now? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, 
it's something I try not to think about. Like if I were, you know, creating new characters for the comic and thinking about casting and all that kind of stuff, I, I feel like it would detract from the writing and distract me and be a complete mess. But uh, every single time the, the the characters are being cast, it's it's an absolutely amazing experience and. I'm always like super excited, uh, you know, when I find out like who's gonna be who and everything, uh, and uh, you know, it's 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 really bizarre, you know, because these characters I live with them for so many years, and uh, uh, and like they they have a voice in my head, and then eventually they get a different voice, which is super crazy. But uh, there's a new character, Princess, from the comic that I'm very excited to see in the show at some point. Uh, like season 13 or so. Do you have like somebody, you don't have to answer who it is, but do you have somebody in your mind that you're like, I would love that actress to portray that? I I always answer Ed O'Neill for this question. (laughs) One, because I love Ed O'Neill. And I would hate to like say Jessica Alba or something and then the actress that gets cast eventually is like, well, I'm not Jessica Alba, so clearly I was the second pick, you know? So I always say Ed O'Neill. So Ed O'Neill for Princess. All right, right, next one. What's your name? My name is Lisa from Cleveland, Ohio. (laughs) Lisa's having some fun on the cruise. (laughs) Yes, I am, and I am so excited to be up here. But something I have wondered for eight years, why did the little girl pick up the freaking teddy bear? Did she have emotion? Was she feeling something? Why did she pick it up? <laughs> Ooh. I just want to know. Deep cuts. <laughs> Deep cuts. I think that one was for you, Norman. I, 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 I don't know, but you're, no, you no. should come on the show. You're awesome. I'm here on the show. Anybody want to have fun, call her. She's the life of the party Ooh. right now. I don't know. <laughs> There's There's there was a... a there was an aspect that uh, Romero explored in the in the Romero zombie films about how zombies uh, have some remnants of their life before that uh, is still somewhere in their brains, and so they will somehow act. They, they will somehow reenact behavior that they did in life. So at some point, that little girl picked up a stuffed bunny rabbit, and so she's doing that again. It's not like she knew she was picking up the bunny rabbit. It's not like she did it because she cared about it or wanted to hold it. She just you know, instinctively saw something and and grabbed it. All right, thank you very much. And my I feel like you totally made up that answer. (laughs) (laughs) Not totally. (laughs) He kind of made up the whole everything. So so why don't so why don't the walkers like pick up rocks and open doors anymore then? Well, on the first episode, she tried to get in the door. Remember Um, that? They do stuff like that from time to time. Still? Sometimes. Okay. Get off the stage. In All right, we'll take a couple more, and then we're, th- we're going to wrap it up because okay. it's, it's going to pour us. Weather's awesome. Shout right? out to all of you being out here. Go rain. You can't stop us. And how about right. the nice, smooth ride to Mexico? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, who barfed? Raise your I hand if you up barf. twice. Barf? Yeah, there we go. Not alcohol-related. Anybody Not barf like just because of the weather? <laughs> wow. All right, Bars, guys. keep going. Okay. All right, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Brandy, and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Woo! <laughs> My question is for Norman. Um, more of a, what is Daryl feeling? What are his thoughts going through his head when he got in the scuffle with Rick on the last episode? I th- you know, sometimes Rick's plans aren't the best plans, but we follow him anyway. Uh, but I, you know, I think he thought he saw an opportunity to end it quick, and he was just going to take it. You know, I, I, there's so much guilt riding on that guy's head for so much stuff. I think he just wanted to bring the fight and end it as soon as possible. You know, I mean, guys are like that. Like, we'll beat the shit out of each other, and then be like, "What are you doing tonight? Let's hang out." You know, so a little bit of that. Yeah. I actually witnessed it between Norman and Jeffrey earlier. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. What are you doing later? <laughs> Who wants Jeffrey and Norman to do naked wrestling on stage right now? Hey, hey, wait a minute, Robert. All right, let's go. Thank you. In the rain. Go now. It's a family show. Do it. Come on. Do it. Come on. This is not a family show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You want any more up front? No, you go for it. Right here. Uh-huh. Favorite what? Oh, they want to know if we'll come to South Florida with a Walker Stalker. We're going to Orlando in August. Yeah. We'll be in Orlando this August. (laughs) All right. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Negan and Daryl's best pickup line. When we're together? Like a combined pickup line? Uh, Daryl's would be getting the truck. Negan's got like eight wives, so you got a good, you got some good ones, right? You got a black dress? <laughs> That's a good one. She and said she in. has plenty right here. You're in. Who else has a black dress? Oh, wow. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yo, right here, guy in the red shirt raising his hand. God okay. Damn it. Why That's did a great question? Okay. Well, so why did Rick try to not just swing the Lucille at Negan instead of hitting him with the bun in? We right? talked about that. You know, we uh, we talked about on set. I, it was a bad choice. It's a very Andy thing to do, though. <laughs> it's kind of an Andy thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Andy doesn't know his way around a baseball bat. Uh-huh. He just wants to hit He's you and hurt you. Also, not a very good aim with a machine gun. <laughs> All right, I feel like we need to back off a little bit on the criticism. Come on. <laughs> All right, right here, guy in the blue. All right, who's got one? Guy in the blue with the hat. Yep. Oh, that'll take forever. I can't uh, hear you. We shall be. What happened to my wife? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, the real Lucille. Well, you gotta, you gotta read the, the lovely book that Robert Kirkman has written. Yeah, Robert! I don't know that I want to give it away because I'm, I'm really hoping that we shoot the damn thing. I, yeah. I, I, and by the way, if you're not reading the comics, you guys are missing out on some you're amazing stories. The comic is phenomenal. It there's really a great, is. There's a Absolutely. great book that Robert just wrote called This is Negan, um, and it's kind of the... Jeffrey, it's called Here's Negan. Here's Negan. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, buddy. But, but This right. is Negan is a better title, yes. so... You know. <laughs> I was also drinking earlier today. <laughs> It's a, it's a but crossover. It's, but it's awesome. He wrote a great book, uh, and it's kind of, it's, it, we get to know Negan before the apocalypse started. Um, and it's, it's really... And it's a, very sad. It's very sad. And it, it shows kind of a little bit of heart, I think, in Negan, which I, I love. Gotcha. Lucille works at Hooters now. All right, let's go over here. Yep, go. Uh, maroon shirt, right here. Oh, right here, in the blue shirt. With One Hooters. Two. I can hear you. What was the wor- worst scene? What was the worst scene you ever did? Everybody always asks, asks the best one. What is the worst one? Jeez. What's the one you hated? And you're like, after, you're just like, ah, that was miserable. I, I didn't like shooting Jeffrey DeMond. That was sad. I, carrying Beth was sad. I hated that day. And stabbing Merle was a drag as well. I mean, I know I'm supposed to say when I killed Glenn and Abraham. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> All right. Right here. We're in the front. I don't, right. I don't really have a sad scene. All right. Rob, this one's for Robert. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's Robert, she wants to know, is Daryl ever going to have a love interest or love scene? We keep skipping over that, like every year. I, I, hold on, let me just let me just take the audience temperature. Uh, if uh, by by applause, is anyone interested in seeing a Daryl love scene? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> All right, you got one back there? I do. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Lindsay in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The first one's for Norman. Can you look at my mom and say, hi, Alicia, please? Hi, Alicia. Thank you. 
and all of you, who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Oh. Eagles. Eagles! Seahawks. Eagles. No, Eagles! They're at home. They're not they're not playing. Fly. Okay. Uh, I really enjoy hearing boos from the crowd, so I'm going to say the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> You're a legend, Robert Kirkman. You're a legend. <laughs> that said, I'm pulling for the Eagles. <laughs> yes. I don't even kind of right. give a shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, right here. Is Negan shooting blanks in the apocalypse with all the wives? That's the best question ever. <laughs> it's amazing. I love you. <laughs> yes. Uh, he's actually impotent. That's not Mountain Dew. <laughs> Maybe he just practices safe sex. He's responsible. <laughs> Negan sits in a hot tub like one hour before every time. I don't know. We've never, we've never actually know. seen like Negan having uh, the opportunity to have children. I think he just likes to hang out with his wives and talk. <laughs> you know? It's that kind of deal. Let me show you how to make some spaghetti, ladies. <laughs> Uh, all right, right here in the front. Hey, oh, my name is Jen. I'm from North Carolina, and my question is for Jen D. If we captured you, would you rather spend the rest of your life in prison and live or just die? If Rick captured Negan, would you rather Negan live in prison or just die? I don't think Negan's the guy that's just going to die. I think he's going to be looking for a way out if Rick ever captured him. So, yeah, he, he, I, I don't see Negan as a guy that's going to be like, oh, yeah, I can't do this shit. He's going for it. Thank you. Excellent question. All right. Back here in the back. Yelvin? Back here? Yep. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name's Kim, and I'm from Georgia. Yeah. I'd also like to volunteer to be Norman's girlfriend on the show. Come on, girl. Come on. Daryl's wives. Come on. Yeah, me. Um, and Daryl, um, Norman, can you say happy 12th birthday to Austin? To What's who? the name? Austin? Austin, yes. Austin. Happy birthday, Austin. Happy birthday, Austin. Where are you? Come on up. Happy uh, Austin, birthday. Austin, I'm real sorry about all the off-color stuff we set up here. Oh, Austin's in the hot tub? Austin's oh. in the hot tub. Austin's he's by the hot tub yeah. over Austin there. Austin is doing all right. He's Where fine. He's he at 12. Happy he's birthday, good. He Austin. Knows in the hoodie, black hoodie right here. Happy birthday, Austin. Go for it. Uh-huh. Outside of filming, who does Jeffrey enjoy giving the most shit to? Oh, does Negan cross over into my personal life? I don't know. My wife would probably not be happy with that. <laughs> or then again, he does make a nice spaghetti. Um... I don't know, off camera, on set, off camera, I pick on Andy the most. Because I think it helps him in the acting. <laughs> it does. I, I, Are you saying I, Andy's acting needs help? No, no, I, he just, yeah. sometimes he likes to be riled up a little bit. Do you make him cry? He's fun to rile up. I mean, I've tried. <laughs> it looks like it works. Andy's very, um, he, he's very method -y. He, he works very hard at getting into that that uh, Rick Grimes headspace. So if I can kind of like poke at him a little bit, I, I think he got you back. Bro. It's been fun. Yeah, he gets me Definitely back all the time. Back. Yeah, it, uh, uh, this year Andy broke my face for real in a in a fight scene. He he forgot the missing part. Um, <laughs> I think it was accidental. He got me a nice massage and a facial afterwards. So he's very sweet. <laughs> All right, uh, right here with your hand up in black. What? Does still does Daryl still have what? Beth's knife. Beth's knife. Yeah, he still has it. He's got it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, right here. Happy birthday, Jesse. 
Happy birthday, Jesse! All right. From Daryl. All right, back here. So she actually had a question. Which, okay, go for it. My question's for Robert. Um, I'm also a big fan of the comics, and I have a theory about Carl, and I wonder if you could tell me the percentage of whether I'm right that Carl got bit by one of the Whisperers. Oh, did Carl get bit by a Whisperer, and this whole thing about Carl dying in the next episode is just a giant cover-up? Oh, yeah. Um, 8%? <laughs> That's eight more percentage points than I thought you were going to give her. <laughs> All right. Waving right here, the two waving together. It looks like you've maybe had six drinks today. Go ahead. Jumping up and down. Are you just waving? No question. They're just waving. All right. <laughs> right here in the glass, sunglasses. Which sunglasses on? Yeah, that's you. You have sunglasses on. She wants a personal backstage pass with Norman tonight. How many people were asking for the same thing? Relax. You guys can have mine. (laughs) (laughs) That's a long line to nowhere. All right. This is a big dude. (laughs) All right, bud. All right, bud. Back here. All right. I got just a couple more before this... uh, Yep, Whether it doesn't definitely. cooperate. What's your name? Come on. Jesse. What do you want to say? Thank you, Norman, for my wristband. Oh, uh, you're super cool. You're welcome. I, I hope your parents had you their hands over ears the Andrew whole Myers, time. And I'm from Seattle, Washington. Uh-huh. Yo! Yeah! yeah. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> love you, Jeffrey! I love cool you, again. too, dude. Ah, oh, shit, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Sorry, my question's not for you, though. That's all right. I... All right, good. <laughs> Don't let the ensemble fool you. Fool you. <laughs> but my question's for Robert. What is up with all the A's? Do you just have a fetish for them or what, dude? Come on. Fetish for the A's everywhere. Yeah, yeah uh, there's a lot of A's in the show. Um, that's a Scott Gimple thing. I'm not taking credit for the A's. Okay. Yeah, pawn it off with somebody else. <laughs> I see. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> no, actually, All right, right here. Go for it. Everybody's I'll, pointing at you. He's suggesting B's, and he's like, no, I really love A. <laughs> Gimple likes a lot of them. Would Tom cut his hair, if that's the question? Um, I don't know. I like his hair. It's, I don't know. Dude, that's a comic book thing. Uh... You mean like having like long hair throughout the year when we're not shooting? Yeah, it's a decision between having long hair all the time or wearing a wig during, yeah. during the filming in the summer in Georgia. And so, you know, that's it. So it's the same reason why uh, Josh McDermott's like, well, I guess I have a mullet all year round now because otherwise he's got an itchy wig on. So, All right, you two up on the balcony waving. You got to scream it so we can hear it. Everybody quiet. Hold on, I'm gonna run over there. So I'm gonna run Carol's to Daryl's storyline. Daryl's storyline. Carol. 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 Carol and Daryl's storyline. I can't hear you. <laughs> what? Say it again. I'm right here. Yell to me below you. Hi. Oh, Carol's storyline. Has Carol's storyline? Are you happy that Carol's storyline has changed between this TV show and the comic book? Oh, uh, absolutely, 100%, uh, because um, it's actually embarrassing when you think about what I did with Carol in the comics versus the potential that she had in the, in the show, and that's because Melissa McBride did not play the character in the comic. So that is honestly, yeah, and, and Melissa is absolutely amazing, um, and, but, and, and that's really one of the beauties of the difference between television and comics the, uh, the characters only uh, are able to do the things that Charlie Adlard and I think of for the comics, but when you bring in the actors, every one of them brings something to these characters that the writers and the directors and everybody uh, couldn't anticipate. 
Uh, a great example of this is Mr. Norman Reedus here, who was always on set going, well, I'm thinking Daryl's like this, and I think Daryl's like this, and really, really was instrumental in shaping that character into what he became. Thank you. All right, right here. All right, your best impression of Rick saying coral. Uh, I, uh, I went snorkeling today and saw some coral reef. All right, there's yours. <laughs> coral! <laughs> Something like that. He does it better. Girl! He said girl. Did you just say girl? Yeah. You said girl? Do you know what he says? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now your, your best impression of Andrew Lincoln. A pip pip cheerio. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to do it. All right. Last question back here, and we're going to wrap it up. All right. Here we go. Last question. What's your name? Where are you from? Ginger from Tampa, Florida. Up, and <laughs> this one's for Jeffrey. If Madison were to meet Negan, what would happen? If who? Madison. Madison. Right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, do you like watch her. Fear of the like Walking Dead? I like her a lot. I, I really, I, I don't. <laughs> would, would she get a black dress? <laughs> she could have a black dress. Because I've met her uh, uh, at, at, at this kind of stuff, and she's awesome. She, she might put you in a black dress. Uh, she might put me in a black dress. By the way, I'm not fucking opposed to that. You look good in black. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. Let's go. Out here in the middle, right here. Yep, with your hand up. Yep, you. Uh huh. Uh, the uh, uh, why doesn't the infection infect the animals? Um, it, I, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> sci scientifically, it's it's you know it's a mutation for a, a virus or illness or whatever to jump from an animal to a human, and you know it's entirely possible that that just hasn't happened yet in the world of The Walking Dead. So, Ooh. so yeah. Currently a, a, a people-only affliction. All right. You jumping up and down with the cell phone. Yes. What's your question? Hi, Brazil. Hi, Brazil. What's, do you have a question or just want a hi, Brazil? Just a hi, Brazil. Hi, Brazil. They're good with that. Would anyone else like us to shout out to another country? <laughs> Let's just list them. The Brits Starting, are in the house. Begin with the Portugal, A's. Portugal, yeah! England is here also. Guy in the beard. Guy in the beard. Let's do it, man. Right here. Which way would you would they go if I'd, there was a I'd zombie stay apocalypse? On this boat. Where are you going if there's a real apocalypse? Oh, a Costco. <laughs> I'm going to the top of a tree. Uh, <laughs> Vegas? I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Costa Rica probably is probably where I'll go. Yeah, I mean, I already live out in the boonies, so I like my boonies. Like Herschel's farm. Herschel's farm. Come over to Jeff's farm. I got some shit in the barn. Don't look in the barn. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go out here. All right. First off, before the question, I was requested by the crowd, uh -huh. uh, Mr. JDM, they'd like to hear you say, shut that shit down. <laughs> Please. I will shut that shit down. <laughs> you guys are really nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, where you from? Danielle from Northport, Florida. And first, really corny thing, can you say hi to my five boys? Stevie, Sean, Austin, Matthew, and Ethan. Five? Oh, man, let's no, all five boys. of them right now. Yeah. Ready? Go. Hi, boys. <laughs> Sean and Steve, Matthew. This is the first time in 20 years my hubby and I have been away from them. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Hi, now guys. Now the guilt. It's oh, a big deal. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. Yeah. And y'all rock. Uh, you are. I have loved you from Boondog Saints, you from Grey's Anatomy. Y'all are awesome. Well, thank you for being here. All right, right here in the front. Okay. Yeah. Question. 
if the two of you, Negan and Daryl, had a face-off, who do you think would win? Negan! Say face-off or dance-off? I think face-off like that John Travolta movie. Right? Dance-off right now? Dance-off right now. Dance-off right now. Dance-off no right now. Get the music going. Let's go. I Put the music on. Dance-off right now. No way in hell. That's how it is. <laughs> I die for you. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, no face-off. No dance-off. Oh, I, I do not want to be on YouTube oh, doing a dance-off. I know, is, I know, I know. so disappointing. It's about to rain. You guys are ruining the cruise. Come on, dance off. <laughs> no, no. Next question. Moving on. <laughs> All right, right here in the front. Yeah, you're animals. You're all animals. Oh, dick. Hey, calm down or I'm killing both of them. Go ahead. <laughs> At adding Jadis into the comics now that she's on the show. Yeah, uh, no, I mean, much like uh, uh, the esteemed Daryl Dixon, uh, I like the fact that there are characters that exist only in the comics, only in the video games, and only in the show. I think it's great that you can enjoy The Walking Dead and all its different forms and get something special and unique. But when Jadis becomes alpha next season, it's going to be awesome. So, oh, sorry, spoiler. All right. Um, You're really making me mad. I know, here. I know. It's too much. <laughs> Out here. Let's go. <laughs> One more. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Erin. I'm from Texarkana, Texas. First, can I get y'all to give a shout out to my mother, Kathy? Kathy Mixon? Yeah, well, Kathy yeah. Kathy Dixon. Shout Mix out to you, Kathy. <laughs> uh, and I just want to, I don't have a question, but I just wanted to let y'all know that between me and my mom, ever since y'all all came into our lives, y'all have actually changed us. Y'all are a big deal to us, especially Robert, because we wouldn't have any of this yeah. without you. Let's give it up for Robert Kirkman. Especially That's right. Robert. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for making this all wow. up, Robert. But y'all mean so much to us, and I know y'all have y'all's own personal lives and stuff to do, and I know and how much time. I, I know y'all give so much time to us fans, and I can't tell you that does mean more than the world to me and I'm sure everybody here. Thank you so much. It's the truth. There's not another television show that does what these guys do and the rest of the cast. There's nobody like them. They're amazing. Anybody else have a question? Over here, down here. Yep. Yep, go for it. I can hear you. When Negan is with his wives, does Lucille like to watch? Baseball bat doesn't have eyes. I feel like the wives are watching, you know what I mean? She just asked if Lucille joins in as well. You've had too much to drink, lady. Got some filthy minds on this cruise. All right. Shout right. out to all the children in the right audience. Here. Yep, you with your hand up right here. Yep, go for it. Do you have a name for your crossbow? Well, secretly I call it Marianne because that's my mom's name. Aw. Uh, uh. That'll be on the cover of Tiger Beat next month. <laughs> yeah. All right, over here in the corner. Go for it. Yep. Oh, now that Gimple has been promoted, how much influence he's going to have over all the storylines? Uh, I mean, Angela Kang is coming in as the showrunner with season nine, uh, uh, which has been announced. And Angela is absolutely amazing. She's been on the show since day one of season two. So she's been on the show exactly as long as Gimple has. She's written some of your favorite episodes. She's written some of the best moments. And, you know, she's going to be taking the reins on season nine. Gimple is still going to be there uh, assisting and, and helping out. And we're all going to be pitching in to make sure that, you know, she can deliver the best season possible. But I am very excited about what Angela is going to bring to us. I think it's going to be an amazing season. Yep. We're going to be putting these guys through their paces, which is going to be really awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be really great. But Gimple is definitely still involved and still in the mix. So... It's All right. Be awesome. So, who's got a totally inappropriate question to send it off? All right, you two waving right here. Go for it. What's your question? Yeah. Sister. 
What do we have to do to become a member of Negan's harem? Ooh. <laughs> Not be dead. Well, I mean, he's... <laughs> You're saying he's not very picky? Yeah, like, the standard is just breathing. <laughs> Again, let's go back to the little black dress. Who's got a little black dress? All right, guys. Thank you so much for being on the cruise. We appreciate hey, thank it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go enjoy the rest of the night. Have well, fun. Thank you all. Hey, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for being here.